Hey, can I get a little help? I'm looking for suggestions on improvements on the model I just created. I'm going to give you a detailed look at it, let you know what I think about it, and let you know how you can let me know how you think I can improve it. We're going to do that right now. Stick around. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Roof. I'm with the Denver and Rio Grand Western, welcoming you to the channel and my video on how we can improve the new model I just created. This is the Mountain Chalet. It is ready, it is run number one, It is, but the mock-up is done. And this started out to be one of those regular instructional how to build something videos. Let me show you how I was gonna start it out. That's right, today we're gonna learn you how to assemble this Mountain Chalet, stick around. All right, now, what we decided to do is do something a little bit different and change things up a little bit, everybody. What we're gonna do today is, I know that each model that I've put out so far, I've had to do several different versions and tweak and tweak and tweak before it actually got ready. So this is the first version of this model, and I decided, you know what, this isn't gonna be the final version. So I got to thinking about how I might wanna do this, and I was thinking about the fact that when Vinny put that model together the other night and I got some feedback from him, how how well that worked and so i was thinking well i can't put a model in everybody's hands so what can i do i can put a video in everybody's inbox i'm going to show you a very detailed in-depth look at this model i'm going to show you the sins i'm going to show you areas that i would normally try to hide and i'm going to do that so i can get some constructive criticism and we can make it better that's what i'm hoping to do i am looking for constructive criticism you don't have to tell me that my model sucks you don't have to tell me that the windows for example suck you can tell me that the windows need to be a little thinner or that you would make the windows a little thinner and i would actually agree with you you could really tell me the windows did suck because they do suck and we're going to fix them all right i do have some things that i think need to be changed and fixed but i would like to know what you think so what i'm going to do is we're going to do a tinkercad model i'm going to blow i'm going to show you i'm going to take you over into tinkercad right now and we're going to show you the tinkercad model of the thing all right everybody welcome to tinkercad and this is the mountain chalet mountain chalet meet the youtube community youtube community meet the mountain chalet okay so the model itself uh, this is pretty much ideally how i would have it look color wise and stuff i have to raise this up you can see everything's lettered we have interior inserts to help keep the model square on these guys We have an E. And there is a hole in those for lighting. There's a hole in the roof to match as well, so light will come through and shine through those windows from the interior. All right, as you can see, you've got um, part letter identifiers on each piece. All right. Let's get this up. Little chimney there. Interior insert. I'm not going to go that far in. Let's see if we can get. There we go. Just trying to back out so y'all can really see. Now, the base. Trying to get a cobblestone look going on the base. Right. This roof um, actually has a little seat that'll hold these, and there's holes right here for this. Um, These are wood panels that do somewhat show up on the filament print. Mm -hmm. 
at this time on this model, these windows are pretty small, 10 by 6 in the millimeters, matter of fact. I was unable at this time, the printer wasn't printing great either, but I was unable at this time to get a frame, an exterior frame, to take an interior frame that would snap in so I could print in different filament colors so you could see the contradicting colors. And so what we have on the model today is a single solid piece. And we'll look at that more in depth. The doors are not special. The handrails on the deck look nice. And so this is what we were going for, everybody. So what I feel like is that at the mountain chalets, you're going to have lots of snow at the ski resort. Most <clears throat> condominium complexes, um, nice, real nice homes, et cetera, and so on, have underground parking. So that's what I got this here for right now. Cobblestone base, wooden walls, metal roof. Wooden deck, wooden stairs. These stairs actually, this this these stairs actually have railings. I'll show that to you in depth. And I'm actually printing this beam and this beam right now. And then we're gonna get. Sh then we'll take you over to the detailed video. This is the Tinkercad portion, and this is where we generate the STL file. I want to show you one more thing. I almost forgot. Case. Okay, so some of you are kind of new. I do put an edge on my base to hold the wall. And all of my walls are, are cut at angles. Okay, so for example, this one's cut to 45 and this one's cut to 45. Come over here, some of these guys are a little different. You've got an inverse, okay? So I've got a 45 going this way on this one and a 45 going this way on this one. You see it's opposite because you're kind of turning left and right. Welcome back from Tinkercad. And now I'm gonna roll you through some photos of the model through its construction process. Welcome back from the photos, and now we're going to do a close-up video of the model, and we're going to talk in depth about it. What you're seeing right now above me this whole time is the process, is the construction process of the mock-up. See, I was going to put this out, like I said, as a regular instructional video, so I shot a lot of video footage of putting it together, didn't want it to go to waste, so I figured it might look okay in a small pick-and-pick pick up there in time-lapse. And now we're going to do the in-depth video where we talk about the model in detail. All right, we'll start looking at measurements. We are about 90 tall.
185 long and about 160 wide. Put a cobblestone base all the way around. This cobblestone base is about 10 millimeters. All right. This is a raised seam roof. I designed the raised seam roof, but SRV John gave me the idea to use the raised seam roof, and I really like it. I don't have raised seams on these eaves, and I wonder if it's because they were too small. This will be something that I redesign. All right, we have a small uh, double flight of stairs going to the second level deck. They have a small handrail on them. Each flight has four little holes on the top and the bottom. So these can make as many flights as I want. I can also put pegs in here to connect them. I can also put pegs through here to resemble beams. Your handrails, these are six millimeters and they uh, go all the way around the deck. Your windows are 10 by six right here and the standard window that's all the way around is 10 millimeters by six millimeters. We're gonna talk more about that at the end. These doors right here are very simple. And what I'm going to do is my idea, SRV's, uh, John's idea was, uh, John, he's suggested, um, he suggested these uh, seams and he suggested that these be about half as thick. Well, I'm going to make them about two thirds as thick because I need, I got pegs in here so these doors will swing and I got to keep, be mindful of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this look for these doors as well. I don't think I'll make the doors functional, but what I'll do is I'll make a border with a seat in it for these doors. So I'll have a corresponding filament or a, co a contradicting filament color with uh, the border around the door as well because I do not like the way the doors look or the windows look. They both need work. So I'm going to try a border around the door and I'd also like to get a border around these windows which we'll talk about more in just a sec. Um, this base is the garage base comes attached to the base. This sidewalk walkway is a separate piece. It does have some raised edges and um, probably like, you know, a little rock garden or something in here with some ballast would look nice. Okay, before we close in the end, I've got wood panels in, engraved in the side of the walls. They look really good, except for I do see some filament lines. If you are uh, somebody who knows anything about 3D printing and getting rid of filament lines to see more details, um, using a filament printer, obviously I know resin will do that, but with a filament printer, if you know of any videos or tutorials or instructionals um, or just advice you can give me on how to remove some of these filament lines, I would appreciate knowing that. I would like to remove some of the filament lines. Otherwise, I like the, uh, I really like the wood panel look in here. All right. I would like to make the standards win the standard windows have an exterior frame with a contradicting color, and I want them to sit in better and fit in better. All right. When they seat all the way in. This one is seated in better than this one, as you can see. And so when they seat in better, they look better. So I'm gonna make these thinner by a quarter of a millimeter, and I'm gonna make them sit in deeper by a quarter of a millimeter. I'd also like to um, get a, as I mentioned, an exterior contradicting color frame where this kind of frame that would be a little smaller will snap in there. 
So you'd have a little bordered frame window in there, the bordered doors. So number one, I want to improve the detail on the print of the walls. I want to improve the windows by, by making the frames thinner. And if I'm able to, to buy an exterior frame, that's number two. Number three, I want to put a border around the door. Number four, I want to make the borders around the garage doors thinner. Number five, I need to add beams here. And number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, I'd like to know what y'all think. So here's what I'd like to know, everybody. If you can see or think of anything in here that you think needs to be subtracted, please let me know. If you can see or think of anything in here that would be cool to be added, please let me know. If you can see or think of anything in here that I have mentioned that you agree with, you're welcome to let me know about that. If I have mentioned a change that you don't think needs to be made, I would appreciate it if you agree with that. And if you can make suggestions to make the changes that I've talked about easier or better, I sure would appreciate that. And if you can make some suggestions of things that I have not thought of, I would definitely appreciate that. All right, everybody, thank you for watching, and I appreciate your help with uh, this model today. And I look forward to hearing your suggestions and I look forward to implementing some of your suggestions and for you to see those implementations of these suggestions on the next video of this model that comes out. Okay, so you, you can walk up these stairs and then you can come up on the balcony. Then you can the door and I think there's a little bed in there and some lights. There's probably like 400 windows and there's a little chimney. Here's the garage, it's in the front door. Well, here's the garage. And then there's the stairs. Got the roof and everything. And we got some little windows and things like that. And then you can also... What do you like about it? Uh, what do you not like about it? Okay, go ahead, I'll go. You can go. I don't really like the garage because there's two garages. I don't really know. Good call. Which Very one. good. That's exactly what I want you to say, Steph. Just like that. Good job. Like Go ahead. I don't really know which one it is because there's two of them. There's one right here, and then there's one right here. And then you can't really put stuff in the chimney it's not glued yet and you can take it off and stuff because it's not glued yet but here's the back when you use the wall and stuff you you walk up here and then you can go and then you have no space you can go through here garage there i think we got a little door that's the window from where i'm at you can go through this door and stuff you or you can walk up in these stairs right here because that's what it will come up to here then when you're done you can come up here come downstairs and get in your car or something and back out from here wait back up from here and walk in do like something store that you can walk and they can drive back and then you can push the garage but you can do that and you can also Blue, but I don't want to flip because I don't want it to break. And there's a chimney. And I don't really like it that much because there's, you can't really open these doors and I wish you could, but it's going to fall off and I wish we can do that. But, and this little thing is crooked, so yeah. And then on this side, there's just nothing. And you can go back and then there's either spin it and everything like that and then i don't know but you can go through here and get in that door and then go 
up to the because you can go to survival room and there's the brother sister's room and there's the attics and stuff they put stuff in there so yeah that i will go now all right, everybody, I want to thank you for watching today. We do appreciate it. I do want you to leave a comment below. Give me any of your constructive criticism that you can. Maybe we can generate some discussion. Please let me know if you think there's anything I can add to the model to make it better. Please let me know if there's anything you think I should subtract from the model. All right, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Route. I'm with the Denver Rio Grand Western. AJ is asking you to subscribe if you have not already. Click the bell icon, share this with your other modeling friends. And if whether you have suggestions or not, we ask you to please leave a comment below so we know you are here. Smash that like button. We appreciate you, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.